Okay, so, uh, I've been digging around in the past, in the distant past. Hold up, let me show. Let me show, let me show what I speak of, of that which I speak. So, I dug around the old videos, uh, from the last time I did a UAC, which was, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while. <laughs> this was the state that I rebirthed in on my first rebirth on my previous UAC attempt. As you can see, I only had 30,000 clones. Uh, well, 32.6 thousand clones. So, I had only gotten as far as... I had, I had gotten water unlocked, which means that I had beaten one more boss than I've got right now. I beat Suijin, and that's as far as I had gotten. Now, um, as you can see, I've already got a higher max clone count, and uh, I've actually not even been two days yet, whereas that run, I believe I was in four days. I was on the fourth day when I, I rebirthed, I think. I'd have to have to look at it. I think that's what it was. Anyway, um, so, so yeah, we want to wait. Obviously, I want to get to the max clones, and I think in four days, I can have it. I think a large part of that is thanks to, uh, you know, our our liquids here. We've been, uh, we've been taking the roids. Ah. Uh, Anyway, so that's been pretty good for us. There, by that point, I should have max clones and be ready to rebirth. So I've already finished up the um, skills, and I pushed it over to physical. Now we have two advantages over that run, uh, aside from, from the 4x creation speed, which is huge. Well, and the fact that I've got that improved um, thingamabob and um, some challenge points. Okay, we have multiple advantages. But the big two are the fact that I have completed all of my all achievement challenges. And that helps, helps this. That'll help the rebirth modifiers. Although, um, as you can see, the rebirth modifier back then was almost 4 million. Whereas at the moment, my rebirth modifier is, um, less. Definitely less. But anyway, um, yeah, so we've got, we've got the all achievement challenges done, so the achievements are easier to collect. And we've got, um, all the 1k challenges done, which is the only other challenge that impacts this. So we'll have an advantage when using uh, Might. They're not actually huge advantages. I think that having this massive store of liquids is actually a much bigger advantage. As well as the Chakra Pills, which we're going to be using. I think those are actually huge advantages over the previous attempt. Uh, I think I mentioned this, but I don't actually have any reason to do both of them. I always thought I'd do both of them. Um, I actually thought that the second one might even be better than the first one, because that pet token would buy any of a whole host of different pets, whereas the turtle pet is always going to be the turtle pet. I don't have the highest opinion of the turtle as a pet. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's just like, there are better pets. But considering, considering how far I've gotten and the pet stones I've got and all the lucky draws and everything um, I actually don't think that the 300,000 pet stones is worth 16 days of ultimate arty challenge I think I only need to do this challenge once maybe someday I'll discover I desperately need pet stones but right now um, I think one is enough. I think one is all I need. So, anyway. Um, yeah. So, goals. Unlock the might tab. 
so that I can use Unleash Might. Take down Suijin. Possibly put a few points into the Might tab while the clones are building up so that I'll have a Might percentage when I rebirth, I guess. I don't know. Um, really, the max clone counts the big, the big thing that I'm waiting for. Once I have that, I should be free to rebirth. Um, nothing else should really matter, honestly. Um, yeah, that's that's probably all that I need right there. Creating count is still cre creation is still a higher stat than physical. That <laughs> that's not going to last long. And it's never gonna catch, never gonna be relevant again during this challenge. So yeah, that's where we are for now. Oh, and I'm also working on my hammer. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna be an ultimate hammer soon, and then we're gonna start forging things again. I think they're gonna continue working on sticks, and I think he's gonna start forging stuff. Um, I actually have a lot of options in that department of things to forge because, um, well, wait, no, not storm armor, hurricane armor, um, hurricane bows, like, I've actually got a lot of gear ready to go to the next level, and, uh, that ultimate hammer is the thing that we've been waiting for so that we can actually do it. Now, unfortunately, um, supplies are an issue. Supplies are a major issue. I've got a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of magic ice, but when it comes to magic feathers, magic fire stones, magic ore, which you'll notice I have none of right now, even, even the wood is not, not that not that great right now, so I'll probably end up just working with uh, ice gear for a while to make some spears, I guess. We can, we can, oh wait, I don't have a spear ready to be upgraded. Amazing. I am shocked. Hmm. Well, you're extra good at wood. I have a little bit of wood. Maybe I'll work with that. I don't know. I could probably do some some flood armor or uh, tsunami armor or whatever. Probably. Anyway. The journeying sticks. I'm so happy to have those. So I need to find a balance with this again. i got to get the clones really moving again. Yeah. We're kind of at a point where the balance is all wrong. Well, actually, we're almost there. It looks like we're just about at the next po tipping point here. So probably, yeah, probably in, in an, another hour or two or so, I'll be able to uh, get the skeleton just continually uh, wrestling. And then the clone count will just build, 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 build through the night. Yeah, yeah, just a few... Within the next few hours, we should be there again. Which is good, because... Because, yeah, I hate that this has stalled on me. I was doing really good earlier. But, yeah. Yeah, we just, we just fell right in that. <laughs> well, anyway. 